so now we will go to this omp omp update normally we are talking that whatever we configure on the v manage that will be hit to the v smart and v smart provide all the omp update to these sites so what kind of omp update so under the omp update it's the reachability like what kind of ip subnet t logs so t logs is basically this a transport locator we will discuss uh, later on what is a t log so for just you understand that it's uh, through the omp update it's provide the ip subnets like this site is having two lan connection one is a one is b so these two subnet will be go through the v smart now v smart knows through omp update okay this site this edge is having two subnet in the lan and these all details this beam smart will forward to another side if you want to reach this subnet this site is having this subnet so this kind of details v smart will redistribute to all the edges that what all subnet are available on the lan side and what all protocol is directly connected static bgp ospf through how this uh means this vh is learning the lan subnet those all information will be go through the omp update right all site will set is omp update to the v smart right so under this reachability under the omp update ip subnet security means encryption key because this site first site does not know the second site who you who are you so whenever it will be join the sd1 fabric it will share its information to the v smart okay these kind of encryption key i am using for ipsec tunnel right the same information v smart will share to another edges if you want to make the tunnel with site a the site is having this encryption keys so first time it will make a tunnel with v smart but second time it if want to reach to site a it will try to create directly tunnel with the site a because site b already know what are the ips what are the keys right so it will create a directly tunnel okay and third thing is policy whatever policy you will configure here on the v smart this policy will reflect this policy will automatically through the omp update will go to the edges okay okay so we are discussing about this omp update so under the omp update we send three things reachability security and the policies what is a t log and normally the full form of this t log is transport locator so we will discuss later on so that you will be able to connect what i am talking about it's not a right time that we will discuss the t log okay and bft you see that is a bft so so it's a basically the bft tunnel by forwarding directional so it's a bft tunnel so under this ipsec tunnel it creates a bft session with other sites right so that it can directly communicate with other site but so this ipsec tunnel will be created between the management ip of ph so no 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 transport ip means the transport one subnet ip okay transport one transport one means either mps or internet or 4g mm -hmm. or lt whatever you are using or maybe point mm -hmm. to point anything else and transport that you are using as a van transport and transport two so here just they are sharing the two transport so up to five there is a limitations up to five link you can use on dev one device five transport so so sachin you mean to say if i have a an edge device which is having five mpls connections hmm. that is maximum that is maximum yeah the other v edge device will create a connection a vpn with all those five uh, transports yeah all those so can i if, can i can i can i manage it can i reduce it can i control it yeah you can control it there is a multiple ways like for example this site is having one internet and one is mpls for example this blue this pink is internet 
and this brown is MPLS. Mm -hmm. Now, this site is basically create four tunnels in between. One from MPLS to MPLS, second internet to internet, third from this MPLS, MPLS to, to internet this, and this then internet and then this internet to this MPLS. Yeah, cross as well. So if you want that unnecessary performance of the device is getting uh, lower and there is so much tunnels. I have just shared the example of only these two sites. Mm -hmm. So you suppose that you have 50 sites, then how mm -hmm. many BFT sessions are there? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So it will be unnecessary increase the processor or memory of the edge. So right. you can use the one restrict command uh, on your interface level. That's how only MPLS will create a tunnel with MPLS. Internet will create a tunnel with Internet. Right, and if you want that, you have five device, five transport on one edge, and you don't want that all five internet will create a tunnel with V smart, V want, V manage. So you can configure like this. Uh, I will discuss later that how you can configure it. You can control that only two transport will have a tunnel with V smart and V manage. <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. Uh, just one more one. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Will it create the by default uh, once uh, a device came up? So they will create a tunnels by default, or there is yeah. some information need to provide that um, this VS router need to create tunnel with this no, VS by router. Default. It's it's automatically. Oh, it's automatically. suppose we have a five VS router in a one organization map, so they will create automatically tunnel to each other. Yeah. Right. Suppose you already have a five and you have just mm. deployed the sixth one so you don't need mm. to do any configuration it will you will find when the device is fully up on your orchestrator mm. then you will mm. find that all tunnels is already up with other sites and you can directly communicate with other sites okay. so it's okay. automatically you don't need to do any special configuration so even though if, mm. if site one is not communicating to site five for example still we would have a tunnel in place right active tunnel in place right yeah, 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 yeah. It is not a, it's, it's not, so it's not like it's only not like when we, it's not like when we have interesting traffic to that and then it's correct, correct. It already have a PFD session with that site. And you will so, see under the PFD session that what kind of information you are getting, what subnet are there, what your next stop, what color they are using. Right. So Sachin, as per your statement, like I already have five sites up and as soon as my six uh, VS device gets into my fabric, mm -hmm. it gets correct, uh, connected with all the other edges automatically, right. right? Automatically. That means if I somehow I know the public IP of your V bond, I can get all the information of a network, right? No. Suppose somehow you know the V bond. IP mm -hmm. because public IP. How mm -hmm. you will uh, hack that one? You should have username no, no. and password. No, 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 no. I'm not hacking anything. Mm -hmm. I'm saying I ha if I know the v public IP of your organization's V bond, right? Correct. Now what I need is uh, I need to have a VH and mm -hmm. allow it to give it the V bond address. And mm -hmm. it will try to. Okay, I got it. I got it. You might. Yeah, you might say, entire I got it. I got it. I will tell you why it's not happened. Suppose you have. You purchase one edge at your home. That's how you're thinking, right? Ah, give me one minute to silence my phone. But I think we need to we need to whitelist that uh, VH uh, thing correct, that you discussed. Correct, correct, correct. Suppose okay, you have one. one yeah, yeah, yeah. Suppose you have one edge here, and you know the already V bond. V bond is here. You know the public IP. You go to your edge, and you did some configuration on your edge V bond IP, and you thinking that you are able to reach this one now, because the whitelist model, as we discussed already, this is the whitelisting we are doing on the edges authorized the edge list so we have not defined your edge on our v manage and manually you cannot enter any serial number suppose you have link on that company for example you already 
belong to different company and you think oh one of my colleagues working there i will ask him okay you just enter my serial number in this edge and i will be able to reach to your network no manually you cannot type any edge serial number on this we manage you need to go to the smart account and then you need to uh, get that list and that list you can upload on the we manage yes in smart account you can type the serial number but in every company nobody gives access to the everyone that of smart account you can log in and you can type this chc number right and other things there are some basic configuration not only we want helps to provide you access of this sdn fabric there is a basic configuration you need to do we will cover later on the slide those configuration should also you need to put on the edge and if they are conflicting with other environment then then edge will also not be up right so there's a multiple thing multiple security you cannot got, get into the edge and one another thing suppose for example you have ordered one edge for this site suppose this site in delhi right it is in delhi right this edge not delivered to the site somebody theft this box and now he can connect a cable and he can get into the your organization no there is another security level on the edge we manage you can already put all the devices in invalid state when site person will get that edge and he will send the photo to you i have got this device this is the photo this is the proof that i got this device then you will start the installation or either means actually in every company there is some security mechanism defined in every way that how you can prevent how you can do the secure to the uh, means uh, you can deploy your sd wan uh, devices in a secure way so there is a multiple scenario can happen but there is a multiple things that you can uh do on your we manage and you can keep the secure nobody will be able to enter in your organization right like and subscribe my channel and share with those guys who want to learn sd van thank you so much